Welcome back, this is Jordan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this working Lego soda machine. So, let's take a look at how it works. First, we're going to need a 4x4 plate. And on either side, we're going to place two 1x4 plates. Now, between those in the back, we're going to place a 2x2 and a 1x2. And in that gap, we're going to put a 1x3 plate. And on the back of that, green plate we're going to place a 1x1 one one. and just on top of that a 1x1 one one cheese loop. Now in front of it we're going to place a 1x1 one one tile the tongue sticking out we're going to place another cheese loop. Over here in the back we're going to place two 1x4 one bricks like this and right in front of them, a 1x2 and a 2x2 brick. And right in the middle of those 1x4s, we're going to place a 2x2 tile. Now on either side, we're going to place two 1x4 bricks. And right here, we're going to place a 1x2. And on that, we're going to place this 1x1 one one cheese slip. So it's sloping down toward the edge. And on the back here, just a 2x2 two two plate. Right in front of that, we're going to place a 1x1 one one plate. And in front of that 1x1, one one, we're place a 1x4 one jumper. Now behind that, we're going to put a 1x3 plate, and on top, we're going to stack two 1x4 plates. We're going to stack another two on this side. Now we're going to get a 2x2 plate. And on one side, we replace a 1x3 tile. And on the other side, a 1x2 brick. And on top of the brick, we're put a 1x3 plate. And on top of that plate, are these 1x2 grills. And right on this last stud, we put a cheese slip. Now we're gonna bring that over to our main assembly and slide it in this gap here. On the back corners here, we're going to place two 1x1 one one plates. Make sure you square them up. And right between them in this gap here, we're going to place a 1x2 brick. And on top, we're put a 1x4 plate. And in front, we're put a 1x2 brick. And on the other side, we're place a 1x1 brick. And in front of that, a 1x2 brick. Right here, we're place a 1x1 cheese slip. And we're place it sloping down toward the back. And right behind it, we're gonna put a 1x2 plate. And beside that plate, we're gonna place a 1x3 plate, like this. And on that corner, we're gonna place a 1x1. Right here, we get a 1x1 brick with the stud on the one side. And on that stud, we're gonna place a 1x1 plate. 
and on top of that plate, we replace it 1 by 2 on top of that 1 by 2 we replace this clear panel facing this way now we're going to bring this over here and we're going to attach it right in the front up top here we replace on one corner a 2 by 2 plate and beside it we replace a 1 by 2 plate now behind right here on this corner we replace a 1 by 2 tile and beside that we put a 2 by 2 tile and on this edge right here we replace a 1 by 3 tile now in the front we're gonna get a 1 by 2 cheese slope make it facing the front sloping downward from either side we replace two 1 by 1 cheese slopes now on top of that we're put two 2 by 3 plates and we're going to connect them together with a 2 by 4 tile and right behind that we're going to put a 1 by 4 tile and we're done